So this is what I call a back pocket practice, meaning anytime you get into a situation where you are stressed or overwhelmed or in anxiety or a lot of self-doubt, you can just pull this baby out of your back pocket and it's five minutes long. It's going to raise your energy. It's going to create strength and clarity for you. And by the time you're done in five minutes, maybe six with uh, the in-breath, uh, and inhale, exhale after we're done, it's about six minutes altogether. And I wanna do this with you so that you can pull this out and do it anytime you want. So here I am in my sanctuary. I'm normally sitting on the floor as I, I normally like to do, but you can actually do this in a chair as well. This is my desk chair and what you wanna do, you don't wanna slump, right? You wanna sit up straight and you want your shoulders back and your spine straight and your feet on the floor. So we're ready to go with this. And what we like to do is rub our hands vigorously to get some heat going on because when we take our hands and put them over our heart center, we actually have a, uh, what do I wanna call it, an energetic, engagement between our meridian points, our nadis, as we call them in our playground of Hinduism and Sikhism, and putting it over the heart center. And it actually serves to, uh, to increase our activation level. This is straight out of yogic science. So here we go. And uh, always close your eyes uh, whenever possible so that you can go inward. When you close your eyes, you are cutting off 80% of the sensory input out there so you can actually go in and be very focused on yourself. So let's go ahead and let's begin. And I'm just gonna time us here, uh, hands over the heart center, left hand first and the right hand over there. Let's take a big breath and go. It is round mouth. <sighs> Everything in and out, exact inhale with the exhale. The measure is even. <laughs> keep going, keep going. We call this a self-care breath. You are forming a circle with your mouth. <laughs> Keep it up, I'm watching the time for you. I'm gonna chime in and breathe with you to keep you in rhythm. Your breath can be a little faster or a little uh, uh, slower than mine. It shouldn't be much faster than what I'm doing, but uh, even in and out, right? <sighs> If your mouth gets dry, don't take a drink of water, just take your tongue and roll it around inside your mouth, creating some saliva. Maybe lick your lips and just go right back into it as soon as you can. Strong pull, push and pull in the diaphragm. Your belly is going in and out as you do this. Two and a half minutes in, you're doing great.
Keep it up. You can do this. If your mouth gets dry, roll the tongue around and create some saliva and go right back into it. <gasps> Might get a little lightheaded or even a little dizzy. That is perfectly fine. Just work right through it. One minute left. Twenty seconds left. You're coming in on the home stretch. Continue. You're doing great. Should be feeling the energy moving. Yes, the clarity. All right, stop and inhale and hold, hold for about 20 seconds and pressing those hands against your chest center. Hold it, hold it and blow it out through the mouth. Strong breath out, <sighs> two more times. Breathe in, hold for 20 seconds Press against the chest. Blow out. <sighs> One more time. Breathe in. Hands on chest, holding the breath for 20 seconds. Blow it out, <sighs> blow it all out, and relax the hands on the thighs, the knees, wherever it feels good. Continuing to keep your eyes closed. Go in into that still place. Just relaxed breathing now. Just be with the energy. Feeling it, listening, listening. Where is the feeling? What is the feeling? Is it comfortable, comforting, calming? Does it feel discomforting? Just notice and notice where the feeling is. Hmm. Just slowly come back, wiggling your, your fingers and your hands and your toes, opening your eyes. Very good. And after you've done this, drop down into the comments section and let me know how this was for you, okay? And I'm Becca. I'm here for you. I want you to lead a most magnificent life, and I want to help you do that.